stories we cover in this book deeply is Benghazi. A phone call was made by Ambassador Stevens. The last words he ever said was to the second in command in Benghazi in the State Department, a man by the name of Greg Hicks. He told him, we are under attack. Greg Hicks had several questions to ask after he was told they were under attack and looked to the military to do something to help his friend in Benghazi who was going to be killed shortly thereafter, that being the ambassador. And Greg Hicks asked some questions later on that are very poignant, we believe, in this entire investigation we did for this book. One of the questions is, where are the airplanes coming from Italy? Italy is only about an hour away from Benghazi. We have large forces, including the 6th Fleet for the entire Mediterranean, is based in Italy. Why weren't their airplanes sorted from Italy? Why weren't airplanes sent from Aviano? Why weren't their airplanes sent from the carriers? Why wasn't anything done to those guys to help those guys that were trying to hold off a force of hundreds of people trying to take the CIA embassy where the two Navy SEALs had gone to to hold up, basically to, to hold off a force of hundreds trying to kill the Americans there, which they did effectively. They were heroes and they died, but this administration did nothing to help them. These are questions we've answered in this book with real life scenarios, real life things that should have been done to save not only the two Navy SEALs that were killed, but the others that were killed there as well. One of the big reveals that we have in this book is that there was actually a warning for the Benghazi attack. Two months before the attack, Al-Qaeda held a massive rally in downtown Benghazi, just a short distance from, the, from where the ambassador later died. In that, uh, that massive rally, which went for two days, included more than 300 Al-Qaeda terrorists, they held a press conference at the end and invited the Arabic language media. And what they said is, if the United States doesn't leave Libya, they will kill the U.S. ambassador. Three months later, they did. Those things were captured in intelligence reports, which are published in this book, you, uh, which are cited in this book, Eyes on Target. So the, somewhere in the State Department, someone has on this desk both the intelligence reports warning about an al-Qaeda buildup in Benghazi, and they have also on that same desk a security request from the ambassador begging for security guards. And for some reason, after reading those warnings, he stamped the request, no. In this book, we explore what the State Department knew, when it knew it, and why Benghazi should make you matter than it does right now.